Hello, hello, hello luxurious queens! Welcome back to Life with Loki and today I will be showing you the craziest, cheapest item yet most valuable item I buy from Hermes and because it is so embarrassingly cheap, I figured I will be wasting the time of an SA if I bought it in store so I got it online. For those of you new here, hello my queens, my name is Loki and welcome here. My voice is a little bit sexy today because I am in quarantine and I have just caught COVID so you know I'm just gonna pre-film a few videos and then um, upload it whenever I have time. Well I love chit-chatting and sharing about my luxury journey and how I curate and build up my luxury bag and jewelry collection. I shop a lot from vintage to pre-love and brand new so if you're into content like this then it would mean the world to me if you subscribe and join my little channel. Somehow, in the YouTube algorithm, it will help my channel grow and reach out to more like-minded queens out there. Well, so I was just scrolling through a few other YouTube channels and I found that it is quite interesting looking up the cheapest thing online from a luxury store. So I got myself online to the Hermes Singapore website under the category of Home, Outdoor and Equestrian. I found something interesting under the subcategory of office and writing. I know a few of you have seen lipstick refills, perfume refills or notebook refills which are one of the cheapest items you can purchase but I wanted to get something more meaningful to me which was worth collecting. Well, back in Paris at the Fubu Santinori flagship store, I spied a few war murals hand-painted by Philippe Dumas who is the heir and CEO of Hermes. I was really fascinated by these war murals and was wondering if Hermes sold anything like this, which <clears throat> I could keep and collect. Surprisingly, Philippe Dumas has released a series of nine sketchbooks, which include sketches and drawings of artifacts at 24 Fubu Santimori in Paris. And you can already probably guess what I got. Unfortunately, as with all the things sold by Hermes, only the available items are listed on their website. I was lucky enough to have come across one of these nine sketchbooks listed on the Hermes Singapore website and of course I quickly checked it out. From what I deciphered from the small print, books may not come with the iconic orange box or packaging, but oh wells, I took a chance and bought it and of course the exciting wait begins because this is also my first time buying anything from Hermes online. So my little parcel took about two days to reach me in this DHL packaging, um, which took me by surprise, I must say. It is free shipping as well. I ordered it on a Friday and the expected date I was given was a Tuesday the next week. But this turned up on the Sunday, which was really commendable because that was only two days from the time I ordered it. Five stars for a speedy shipment. Now, let's do the unboxing and find out what I got. <clears throat> Where shall we? Maybe we'll just cut it off from the top there. Alright, are you ready guys? This is kind of fun. I think I have it. Are you ready? Look, what is it? So it comes with the orange paper bag, Hermes paper bag. That's quite nice of them. And also a box. Nice. Alright, shall we? So I'll probably take a while to figure out how to open this but just bear with me because we're just going to unbox it together and find out how nice or not so nice the packaging is. So we'll figure it out together and then maybe we'll rate it together. Give it a rating and well you get to look, take a look at it first but how does it look? Oh. That's quite nice. So it's um, it's got the Hermes FSH uh, building right there, with the word Hermes there, and look, it is it is packaged so nicely. 
the gift isn't really going anywhere. It's pretty, isn't it? Not sure if you can tell, but it is. I think that is quite really, really five out of five packaging. Comes with the paper bag, even came with the box, which I didn't expect. And oh my god, it also came with the ribbons. That's really commendable, MS. I am really impressed. And must I say, I actually got this sketchbook at such a cheap price. I will share with you later. But let's continue the unboxing. Okay, uh, let's continue taking it apart. Right, it's got this like little rubber band thing there. I think it prevents it from moving around in the mail in case you get fragile items like cutlery or some of the home and decor pieces. Um, I know some of them can be quite fragile. So I think that's quite amazing of Hermes to really protect the items. Um, well, this, oops, so this actually didn't really quite need any protection. Oh, okay, so it came like that, that's quite nice. Um, we'll just take the elastics off first, then we can, uh, this is quite tight. Okay, so elastics down. Um, oh, okay, so the box with the ribbons, that's nice. And there's also a card. So anyway, the box is empty right now, so we'll just leave it aside here. But it is nice to see how much effort goes into um, even just the cheapest online order, I must say. Okay, what's in the box? What's in the cart? <clears throat> ah, okay, so this is like more like a re the returns guide. Um, where And then, of course, the receipt goes in here. That is quite cute. It's my first time ordering online so not sure if you can tell but um, so this card has the imprint the Hermes imprint and of course the returns guide you can see right there <laughs> what is this I think this is probably like because in in the order I actually put it like a gift I wrote I wrote that this is going to be a gift so probably this is like a gift card I'm not sure we'll figure it out it's kind of all stuck together. Um, let me see. Just give me some time, please. What is it? Ah, okay. Okay, so this is the so-called gift card, which is like an empty um, piece of paper. It's a cardboard with the Hermes um, uh, embossed logo. And this is probably a card that you can decorate by yourself. And there's another MP slip in here. So there's two of it. And I, I, I presume this is the gift card that uh, would come with your order if you uh, intend this to be a gift. All right. <clears throat> but somehow you may have to remove everything to write whatever you want to write in your gift before packaging it up again. Now, moment of truth. What did I get? Sometimes. This ribbons doesn't come with the 2022. This is just the um, the general ribbons that they use. And what is it? Ta -ta -ta. And what is it? This is so exciting. You know, this is like Christmas um, in July. Ah, oh, that's cute. It's just a very very small notebook. Okay. So this is one of the sketchbooks that I, I've been talking about. Um, let me just put this packaging away before we talk about the sketchbook. I'm quite impressed. It's such a teeny weeny small sketchbook and the packaging is so much bigger and so impressive. And guess what guys? I got this for only 20 Singapore dollars, which is around 15 US dollar. And Vive La France also means, I think it's like, um, I'm not sure what's Vive La France, probably like freedom, freedom or uh, long, long live France, I think it means long live France. But um, apparently this sketchbook has um, beautiful images, so let's just going to open it together and then we'll have a look, alright. I may actually 
uh, swivel the camera around a bit nearer so we can actually look at this um, notebook together. Shall we? Okay. Alright. There you go, Queens. Alright, so let's look at this beautiful sketchbook. This is one of nine sketchbook by Philippe Dumas. And Vive la France also means long live France. Um, well, the first page, it has like this little uh, uh, slip. I think this is more like the English interpretation of what we would expect within the sketchbook. So let's just try to make sense of this book together. Right, so with the first page, um, so cute, right? Well, we'll just read this little sketchbook together, shall we? So the first page, it actually says that to experience France is to marvel every day at all the beautiful things produced by this country. If wonder is the knowledge of children, then we will surely become very knowledgeable when we visit this museum. Most of the objects in this treasure chest are French. They teach us about past times and confirm the pleasure we feel in living in France. Beautiful. And um, what's next? So there's a few pages of it. What is this? Okay, so I am right. So this little slip actually is like the English translation. So um, this is a walking stick. The first purchase made by Emil MS when he was 12 years old. He acquired this walking stick for the price of 2 francs, bringing a frown from his father. I think that's quite hilarious. <laughs> Alright, next. What is this? It's quite cute. So, this is, um, says here, it's a traveler's desk by Bienas or Singh Violet. The legs can be removed and placed in the top compartment, stamped on the inside. <coughs> is this words here? Once taken apart, the desk can be placed in the coach or carried up to the first floor bedroom using the integrated handles. So, it's more like um, <coughs> you can actually dis disassemble this and um, make it a bit more mobile I guess all right next uh, what is this well, it looks like a Lolo is that chocolate mold representing Sultan the horse of Napoleon III spurs of the Prince Imperial as a child okay I guess this is the chocolate mold and looks more chocolate to me right next we have document wallet of Gilles Francois. Well, I'm not sure who that is. It's quite interesting. I'll try to look up for all these things when I go back to France, um, Fubu Santinori store, and just see whether I manage to find all this in the store itself. Next would be this is like a horse carriage um, and a few guys there. So it says here, don't forget the postillion. You're right, there you are, a handshake. Uh, that's what it says in French. I would just have to believe them. And what is this? This says it's a toy of some sort. Quite nice drawing. I love the like the watercolor of it. It's quite commendable that he can actually sketch quite well as well. Hmm. Right. And next. So so it says here. Sleigh bells were attached to horses' legs so that the stagecoach could be heard coming from a distance. I will assume this. And ox muzzle military boots. Probably this one. Late 17th century. Not sure, it could be this or that. Um, Postillon's boots, French. The wearer was lifted up by the arms and placed in his boots at the same time as he was put on the horse. They are waterproof. Seems to be this kind of boots. It looks quite rigid. You probably can't wear it yourself. You need to be like lifted up and then like shoved right into your boot. <laughs> that means it's hard to take them off as well, I guess. Now, this, it looks quite familiar. I remember at the back of the store, it FSH on the first floor, right at the back behind where the craftsman 
was working. There is a stained glass, and I can quite remember seeing this exact um, stained glass there. So it says on the cheat sheet, the glass panel by Forain for the Cafe Richel, eighteen ninety four, and a Charles rocking horse. This one here. Mix. What is this? Quite cute. So Bill from the Goldsmiths BNS was at 119 Rue Sontenore in the consulate period. And I think without the cheat sheet, I probably wouldn't have a clue what's going on. But I mean, the drawings are really very impressive, very lifelike, right? I probably can't draw as well as him. Well, this is a miniature duck carriage for children. I would assume this one. Probably like a pram from what, what we call it nowadays. And what did my cheat sheet say? Okay, curious bit for horse in harness. I will assume this one. The long stems slid into the rising straps of the bridle. What is that? Probably I'm not sure what is that. Not sure. Okay. But quite interesting. And um, this it says lantern stirrup, 19th century silver stirrup for woman rider. Shoen whistle in memory of the war against the Shoen, C H O U A N. Can show you just right there what it says. And part of harness, probably this one. Miniature barouche with team of four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that would make sense in the romantic period. That's nice. It's like so artistic, right? My God. I wonder if he really took a lot of effort to sketch this. And what's next? Did we miss a page? Okay. So I guess this probably looks like I don't know, some of the wedding dresses across the different eras. It's quite pretty. Like from the big skirts um, to what we have today. Something so simple. You notice that it was so much more intricate before and as it got simpler throughout the centuries. Now. And what do we have? So it says travel box with the initials of Marie Amelie, Amel, wife of Louis Fil Louis Philippe, King of the Front of the French. Just really random everyday items, I guess. Ta -da! And that's the end of this little twenty dollar sketchbook. Of course, with the help of my little cheat sheet. This is so important. My God. I hope you had fun guys. Well, I am very, very impressed with this little sketchbook which only cost me 20 Singapore dollars, which is around 15 US dollar. It is free shipping and also came so preciously packed with the iconic orange Hermes box and paper bag and the extra um, protection box. So that is really impressive. Shipment was super speedy. I am really impressed. Well, I certainly think that this is such a valuable item to collect and I'm hoping Hermes Singapore will list a few more of these sketchbooks to complete my collection. At this price point, it certainly did not break the bank but can work as a fun coffee table book for guests. I hope you enjoyed today's discovery of the cheapest Hermes item and do hit that subscribe button to join my channel. See you all next week, queens. Do take care and goodbye.